Hey everyone, Pixel here, and I'm here to tell you guys about my new phone. This is the Samsung Galaxy S2. More specifically, this is the Epic 4G Touch version for the Sprint Network. This baby is running Android 2.3, also known as Gingerbread, so stay tuned for more detail. Um, it's got a pretty big display as you can see. It's about 4.5 inches, so super massive. Um, just for comparison, this is my old phone, and this is the HTC Hero. Um, this is how it sizes up. So that's what I upgraded from. When I pulled this sucker out of the box, I was just amazed. I was like, there's no way. How am I going to use this? It's enormous. But you'd be really surprised at how dang use of this thing you will get and just how painful it is to switch back to a screen that's this small. And the screen itself is an Active Matrix OLED screen, so it's super vibrant. You've got really dark blacks and really vibrant colors. So it makes, you know, browsing the internet and looking at pictures, it's so pretty on this thing. I love it. One thing that also amazed me was, even though the screen is so huge, it's super, super thin. Hopefully you can see that on the camera. It's only about of a third of an inch thick, so super thin, and it makes it really lightweight too. So, super light, super thin, I dig this thing. Although, I do have to get a case for it because it's so slick. I, um, I don't want to say this and I probably shouldn't mention it, but I've dropped it. Um, but, you know, it survived and I don't really notice any sort of case scratches on it either. So, it's durable. So, aside from the screen, which I've dirtied up and it's kind of gross now, it's got two cameras. So, you've got the back one, that's an 8 megapixel camera. And then you've got a front-facing camera, and this thing is awesome for the self-portraits because I know you guys are all super vain and you want to take pictures of yourself to put on Facebook, and it's okay, you can admit it, I do it too. <laughs> so the front camera is a 2 megapixel, um, it's okay, you know, it's still it's going to take decent photos of yourself, so it's fine. No one really wants to see your face anyway. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, but yeah, the, for the back. It captures a lot of detail, and the flash is also kind of decent too. Um, it's a LED flash, and I noticed that I don't get the super, super red eye that I usually get when I take iPhone pictures, so that's a plus. The camera also has um, built-in software that lets you choose from an array of various options for it. So you've got different scene modes, so you can choose if you want to do like a portrait photo, if it's supposed to be a sports action, fast paced shot. Um, it also has a macro mode, which is pretty useful for taking up close pictures. And it also has face detection too, so it'll focus on all the right things. And it actually works pretty well, so definitely explores options. Ooh, notification. <laughs> so this camera can also record video as well, and from both the front and the back cameras. The front, which is the 2 megapixel, when you're taking still photos, will record at 640 by 480. Again, it's a little bit less, but hey, if you can do this and take a video recording of yourself, that's kind of badass in my opinion. The back camera is the sweet spot though. This guy will record up to 1080p. Phenomenal. So definitely utilize that and you can take some, you know, very spontaneous YouTube videos if you want to, if you feel like it. Um, so that's freaking sick. Alright, so this device itself is pretty powerful. Inside of this thing there's a 1.2 GHz dual core processor. That's awesome! So that means this bad boy is super responsive. I haven't had any issues with it um, lagging out or hanging up on me at all. It's been really nice, and it has been able to run anything I throw at it. It's also 4G capable, obviously, that's in the name. Um, so you can also get some really, really high-speed data transfers if, you know, you're in the appropriate area for your network. It'll do that. 
Now, one of the things that I really hated about my old phone was this guy would not last me through any kind of convention. I'd have to bring another battery fully charged and then swap them out and then recharge the other one later on to last me to the evening. It sucked. All right, battery life for this thing, I'll just give you the reported stats, is 8.7 hours continuous talk time and you've got 10.5 days on standby. Doesn't sound too shabby. And obviously, you know, your battery life is gonna be cut down if you're running this thing at like high brightness the entire time, but normally you can run it at 50% if you want to. Save some battery life there. More importantly for me, this lasts me through a convention. And we're talking like 12 hour days here. So if that can get me through one battery charge, I will be happy. And I kind of use it intensely at cons in between, um, you know, talking to people. So I'm always on Twitter, at least I'm trying to be when the network isn't overloaded. Um, and I'm always taking pictures on it, so that's really important for me. This is my computer away from my computer, so having a good battery life is super, super important for me. Anyway. If you're not a super power user, then you'll have no problem with the battery life on this thing, and it'll probably get you through a full day with no problems. So, wrap up. This phone has changed my life in a really awesome, good way. It's just amazing being able to streamline everything that I do away from the computer. So now when I'm out and about, which is quite frequently here in San Francisco, I can go to a new spot, take a picture, upload to Foursquare, tweet about it, Facebook it, and do everything that I want to do. Oh, and play Game Dev Story while I'm on the bus or the bar. And do that with no frustration. It's super simple, super easy. Everything is just so easy to access. And I love that about this phone because there's no lag. I don't have to worry about anything, and I love it. <laughs> I don't think you have any idea how much I love it. So if you guys want to win one of these awesome phones, go ahead, look down, and read the description. I'll post a link to a giveaway that we are hosting right now in the Frag Dolls, and go read the details there. The winner will receive a Samsung. Galaxy S2. Epic 4G touch for the Sprint Now network. <laughs> Seriously though, enter the contest, it's super simple, and uh, you might also be as happy as I am. Alright, thanks for watching guys. Hope that was informational, helped you out. Uh, enter the contest. Like my video, because I know you like me. I hope. And until next time, next week same place. I'll be here. Bye guys.